Hello everyone, my name is Yunus Maria Ionescu and I am a project assistant within the frame of trainingclub.eu. So um, today I want to show you how to upload questions into the Moodle. Um, this is a trick to make things easier and I will show you everything that you need to in order to simplify the process. So um, the first thing that we need to do is to look at our questions. As you can see in the document that I have in, in front of me, um, we have multiple questions for different modules. Here's module 3, and then we have module 4, and um, at the end we have module 5. And as you can see, this is the, um, the template of how we should upload the questions and how we should write them into the, um, the Moodle. So, the first thing you need to know is that here's the question. Uh, when you work on your document, please do not add any numbers, anything else, just the question. And then we have the answers, and at the end we have answer and obviously the answer. Please make sure this is written in uh, caps lock. This is really, really important. And um, as you can see here, we have A, B, and C. And I will show you what I do about it in just a second. So here is the, um, the question, and these are the answers. What I will do now is to um, assign characters to them as, um, as bullets. And then I will copy and paste answer A, because in this document, um the first answers are always the correct ones so here in case you do not have them like this you can type for example c but make sure it's uh, capitalized or maybe b so i will stick to a for now and then we do this process over and over again and then we copy paste it as shown Good. What do we have to do now? Please make sure you always save your files. Um, the thing is, if I upload this whole um, document into the Moodle, it will obviously take it. However, you will have to then manually separate the questions and move them to another um, category. So, what do I do? I copy and paste everything from the module that I'm interested in uploading which is module 5. I click on copy and then I create a new document which will name questions Moodle 5. We open it, we paste it and now this is really important we have to save the file and um, we have to use plain text. Okay, it's on desktop and save. Now, for the file conversion, you have to use other encoding and we have to choose Unicode UTF-8. Click OK and we're good. Now, let's head to the, um, to the course in the Moodle. Uh, please make sure that um, the editing is on and let's go to the quiz part. Now what I want to do is go to the question bank and as you can see here we have the categories, these are the questions, the categories import and export. As you can see in um, senior EN5, this number, which is 4, um, it means that in this category, at the moment, there are 4 questions. So, what I, what I want to do is to go there, delete the questions. Uh, keep in mind that these questions were there just because the, um, the course was copied from another course. It was basically duplicated and um, hence the questions were already there. Now, we hit import, we choose icon format, we go to general, 
and we make sure that we select the category that we're interested in, which in my case is Senior EN5. So here's the, here's a file, I will upload it, click import, and as you can see, all the questions are imported into the um, category. And yeah, now let's check it. As you can see, it's here. And uh, what I want you to know is that um, it has the answers here. The shuffle is turned on. So basically, you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to click on anything so basically this is it thanks for watching and i hope this will be very very useful to you